Sometimes headlines go slipping through the cracks, but this true news crew is picking up the slack. There's no case too big, no case too small. When you want news, just call Ch 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 and Co. Headline wranglers, Chip and Co. There's no danger. Oh no, it never fails. They'll see you through. They'll get the where the why and who. Welcome to the Disney News and Review Podcast here on the Chip and Company Podcast Network. Here are your hosts, Chip and Greg. Ahoy hoy everyone and welcome to Disney News and Review here at the Chip and Company Podcast Network. Let me introduce you to my co-host and owner of Chip and Company, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chip Confer. Chip, how are you doing today, my friend? I feel like we just did this. It's like deja vu all over again. Yeah, there was talk about chicken and... <laughs> All kinds Look, of other you stuff. literally just told me not to go into the chicken routine, and I didn't, and you bring it up. Like, how am I like, supposed to Do they have rolling that? blackouts in Florida that I'm not aware of? I, you, something is going on. They are working on my neighborhood. So we tried to record this just so everybody knows what's going on out in podcast land. We tried to record. We got about 40 minutes into the episode, and power just went. I just everything went off in my house, so I had to wait for the modem to restart, my computer to restart. And you don't, you don't want me to lead this program because I'm just like a uh, <laughs> deer in a headlight. No, you got this, man. You're great at this. <laughs> nah, I'm not that good. Hey, you've learned by osmosis, and you, you you've learned that you can have your personality come out and just be you. Like I, I'm real. I find that I'm really direct when I'm doing this program. When I'm having to lead it, when you're not here, I went through. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five articles in like sixty seconds. <laughs> Here's your news. It's like the CNN scroll at the bottom. It was too quick. And I threw a commercial in where it shouldn't have been. <laughs> that was just so you could have a breather. <laughs> yeah. Well, that and I couldn't get any articles to come up because normally you're the one who has the articles pop up. I, just, I do. I just scroll Facebook or watch videos while you're doing it. Well, anyway, let's get to the news, my friend. We have a lot to talk about today, but we, as always, are going to start off at Disney's Magic Kingdom. Speaking of bringing up articles, I know these articles so well, I don't even need to bring them up on my computer. That way I can avoid it crashing again or losing power. I don't know how I stop. Hey, guys, well, stop, stop working outside my house. <laughs> I'll go tell them to stop while I'm recording. Don't they know who I think I am? Maybe it was the landscapers and they cut your power line accidentally. <laughs> There's a dead landscaper outside my house now for hitting the power line. Carl? 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 Wake up, Carl. Oh, well, Carl's dead. <laughs> I've got I've to gotta slide in. Let's see. At the bottom of food and resorts, since we went into that big tangent about all the new thanksgiving food and drink options i'm gonna slide that in there since i'm done writing it that we did do a tangent on that yeah <laughs> that's you know what we'll do the tangent again i see the reason i love doing this podcast with you is it, there's a format there is literal news that we are reading and then it's whatever happens around the news that makes this fun so uh let's see what happens today on it's, it's not two. really a tangent it, we just got very excited about all the thanksgiving food and drink options. Yeah, i can't wait to talk about the pumpkin pie shake again oh. Man, and everybody's gonna miss out on that edward james almost joke i did that was just like <laughs> so, so good that was the joke of the day material my friend that was i should that was I should string joke together i should string together all of the episodes where you just basically go offline in that five minutes where I am just in pure panic mode. Put them all together in one like one clip and let everybody hear it. What you need to do is do an outtakes version of the show. While we're on Christmas break, you need to put together an outtake show <laughs> and just end it with my my uh, how do we stop the recording? Just like Greg curse for a few minutes. <laughs> but hey, 
That got edited out of the last show, didn't it? Yeah, all those f bombs you did. I only did one. <laughs> it was chicken jokes and an f bomb. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's start over at something amazing, my friend. Over at Disney's Magic Kingdom this Thursday. That's right, this Thursday at nine thirty a.m. The U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds are going to fly over the Magic Kingdom. Uh, the details are, as part of Disney's enduring respect for those who serve in the military and their families, we are hosting a flyover of the Magic Kingdom Park by the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds flight demonstration team Thursday, October 27th, to mark the arrival of National Veterans and Military Family Month here in November. Uh, yeah, so there will be two flyovers or two passes beginning at 9.30 a.m., Weather dependent, of course, and the famous Delta maneuver where they pass over the castle, accelerating rapidly in different directions, giving the appearance of a fireworks display. That is so cool. That is amazing. Uh, I, I, I've talked about this before, but I've seen them actually fly over my house when I lived in Atlanta, uh, them and the Blue Angels together during the pandemic when we needed some national pride and we needed some um, just some uplifting while so many people were uh, in the hospital. The, uh, the military came together and did these flyovers of cities and major events, and they happened to do it over Atlanta. And they did a U-turn right over my house. So I got to see it for a little while. It's stunning. It's loud. It's beautiful. And, uh, of course, here at Chip and Company, we do support the U.S. military and, of course, veterans across this country. So we thank who are, you. Who are the better pilots, the Thunderbirds or the Blue Angels? I would like to put them in a room and see which one comes out on top. Which one's Top Gun? Who's Maverick? Tom Cruise. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see part two. The only thing I I want to be goose. Can I be goose? <laughs> One day I want to be the goose. You I want to do goose. some shirt off uh, volleyball. Is that what you're saying? What? Shirt off volleyball? Oh uh, no! I just want to be the goose. I just okay. walk around. Here we go with Teen Titans again. We talked about it last time, but. Now we're talking about it again. There's an episode where Starfire is like, I am the goose, honk. And they play, they're play; they out there playing volleyball. Yeah. It's really a smart episode. Uh, further news over at the Magic Kingdom. The Disney Festival of Fantasy Parade will start doing performances twice in November. So mostly for the most of the month of November, they will be doing two performances instead of one on most days. It'll be 12 PM and 3 PM. And then on November 11th and 18th, it's going to be 1230 and 330 PM. This starts November 8th. Uh, so if you are looking to go see festival of fantasy parade, you now get a chance to see it twice in one day. I love that parade. I love sitting around enjoying that. I can do that all day long and now i can go figure thanks disney i could do this all day minnie's wonderful christmas time fireworks will be be, 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 be. let's mm -hmm. try that again chip i you know what i need i need a quick edit button where it's like go back 10 seconds and just delete everything <laughs> minnie's wonderful christmas time fireworks will be presented christmas week at the magic kingdom uh, Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks will replace Disney Enchantment every night that week. So now through December 21st, Disney Enchantment will be presented nightly, except for the nights of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. On party nights through December 22nd, Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks will be presented. From the 23rd through the 29th, Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks will be presented during the regular park hours. So if you have tickets for regular park hours, that is the evening entertainment fireworks show you will see. That is really cool. Uh, in further holiday news here at the parks, the theme park reservations, Chip, are now gone for Christmas Day and New Year's Eve. That is for everybody except annual pass holders. Annual pass holders can still find reservations for those two days. Uh, caveat here, you have to have the best pass 
um, because everybody else is blocked out that week. So Sorcerer Pass, Pirate Pass, those are blocked out. In Credit Pass, though, you are uh, not only an incredible pass hole, but (laughs) you can go those days. You know, that's the the one that I have. DVC made me buy that one. I prefer one of the lower ones because I'm not there that much. Yeah, we could switch. No, I don't want to go that week. I'm good being blocked out those two weeks. Yeah, it's pretty busy. That's, I don't uh, think I don't think break. I've yeah I don't think I've ever been there at the last two weekends of December. Ever. We went last year on January first, and it was quite peaceful in the morning. And then we were out of there by noon. It was like, whoa, this is getting crazy. The biggest week for us is going to be what is that? It's actually next week. You're going to have to make sure you're going to the Magic Kingdom like daily. Because we have, remember on Monday is the last Halloween party. And then that week they start pumping out the Christmas decorations. Yeah, it'll be going back and forth from Magic Kingdom to Hollywood Studios. Yeah. So it'll be uh, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. We will be covering every holiday wreath, decoration, and ornament that they place I hope they do Cinderella Castle. They're back at the castle like they did last year. It was kind of beautiful. You have to do an extra wall wall run for all the gas you have to get. That'd be a lot of back and forth, but that's what we're here for. So it's it's my favorite time of year to go. It's the most wonderful time. Actually, yeah, the next two weeks are my favorite time to go to the parks. I love when they start decorating for Christmas. It makes the whole parks have a new vibe to it. It's just really cool. Have you ever seen the video? It's on our YouTube where they transition from Halloween to Christmas. I have. And if you guys out there have not, please check out the Chip and Company YouTube page. That is such a cool video. Um, Yeah, we should probably bring that up so people can see that again. Put it up on the front page. In further food news, real quick. uh, Disney's Blizzard Beach... Well, this is food and resorts. I'm sorry. I just said food. It's food and resorts. And on this one, it's a water park. Um, We just heard word today that Disney's Blizzard Beach is going to be reopening November 13th uh, with some new frozen frozen theming. Just what you've been waiting for. The Blizzard Beach reopening day has been revealed. Um. It's a ski-rific time at Walt Disney World Resort at Disney's like Biz- I do. Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park prepares to reopen on November 13th when guests will once again set off on an Arctic adventure in the warm Floridian sun and discover new touches from the Walt Disney animation film Frozen. The new Frozen features will be part of the kid-sized thrills at Tiki's Peak. That's popular among young guests who will delight in the statues, statuettes of Olaf and his snow and his snowgy pals. Oh, snowgy, snowgy, snowgy. It's booger snow, snow boogers pals. Snow boogers. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I don't know why it won't come out of my mouth. Uh, as well as Anna and Elsa's igloo castle. Do you so remember? Really wait, cool. do you remember snow boogers when you lived up north? Uh, yeah, you basically had snow crystals in your nose. <laughs> oh, it would get so cold. Oh, it was When brutal. you didn't care. You had the sandwich bags or you had the bread bags on your feet. Your bread bags boots. on the feet, yep. Or the paper bag, like that came, your paper, because that's back in the day when the newspaper would be delivered. You had, uh-huh. they would be covered in plastic. You would use those also. Yeah, we always had Wonder Bread. And then we had um, the snow suits. We wrapped up like Ralphie from Christmas Story, and then we'd be outside all day long. I don't know if you were like me, but <laughs> did you guys ever do bumper riding? What's bumper riding? You would grab onto the back bumper of a car as they were going down the street. Uh, I've done it. Yeah. We mostly did a lot of sledding, toboggans. Oh, see, and... we didn't have many hills in in Philadelphia. Like you oh, had to. Yeah. So we we would hop on the back of buses and ride the back bumper of buses down the street. No, the west, we west so side of stupid. We were so stupid. We like, had those plastic sheets. They were it was a sled and it rolled up and it was just basically a piece of plastic. And those things would fly down the hill. That's crazy. You didn't have those? 
No, I just said we didn't really have hills. Oh, yes, we had to sense. ride on the back of bumpers of cars that were going 25 miles per hour down a major highway. Yeah, we would go 25 miles an hour down a hill. Yeah, I bet. Well, Pittsburgh's beautiful country. Well, just north of Pittsburgh. So, yeah. Um, yeah so oh, that reopening, that is actually a really cool deal. For I'd like to add on that. Water park. I'd like to add on that Typhoon Lagoon is closing for refurbishment on November 13th. So Typhoon Lagoon will close and then Blizzard Beach will reopen. There you go. And another little thing to add to that, the water or water, if you're me, at the water park is heated. So even oh. if it's a little chilly out, it's still warm in the water. Are you going on the 13th? You've got that. Don't you have the water park add-on? Not on the new pass, no. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think I lost three months somehow on it. That's uh, weird. Yeah. I have to call Disney and figure that out. They're normally really good about fixing that. Um, yeah. Speaking of really cool things to do for this holiday season, over at Fort Wilderness, the sleigh rides... Uh, reservations for the sleigh rides have reopened. Uh, looks like it's uh, the sleighs hold either two adults and two, I'm sorry, four adults or two adults and three children. Uh, it is $75 per person, which isn't that bad. It looks like it's the prices are up. I think they were like 55 last year. But advanced reservations are highly recommended. They do sell out most nights. Um, schedule. You'll load your sleigh for 25 minute ride. At the new Tri-Circle D Ranch Barn at near the Settlement Bus Depot. At the cabins and campsites at Disney's Fort Wilderness Lodge. So four adults or f two adults and four or three children. I, I don't know why that's escaping my mouth. It's not working tonight. So yeah, check that out. But you want to get there a little early because you have to use the internal busing system. You park at the main entrance and then you got to catch a bus internally at Fort Wilderness. Not that you take a bus in there. Her mind. <laughs> Whew, that was going off the rails quick. See, Chip, I can stop myself once in a while. Um, Sorry, we have the refurbishment attention. schedule. Um, the quick and easy way of talking about this refurbishment schedule is go to chippingcompany.com and check out the article on the refurbishment. The major ones you want to know about is a lot of the pools at, um, let's see, we'll go through Caribbean Beach. The Contemporary All-Star Movies, they are all going to be closed January through April. The major news, though, for refurbishment is going to be the Disney Skyliner. Any resort that is on the Disney Skyliner, you will be busing instead of taking the Skyliner. It will be down and out of service from January 22nd until January 29th. So just be aware of that. Other than that, check out your resort that you're going to stay out to see if the pool will be open. This is the time of year where they close down January through April for any refurbishment that way. Um, I would in, like to point out this is just for hotel refurbishments. We have an article that we release um, towards the beginning of the month that goes through the park refurbishments. Both of those are up on Chip and Co. Thank you. That's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, speaking of resorts, if you are an annual pass holder, there is a 25% off discount at select Disney World resorts and hotels on select dates. But it looks like most Thursday, Sunday through Thursdays, January through the end of February, and then most nights, uh, March 1st through the end of April. And you can get 25% off on, let's go through up a few to, of these. Up to 25%. Right, right, well, I was gonna go through the list. Okay. So, so we'll start We'll start at 25%. Where do you wanna start at 10%? Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. All right, let's start. At 10% discount is for uh, All-Star Music, Art of Animation, Little Mermaid Rooms, and then Pop Century Resorts. So at 15% chip, you can stop at, you can get discounts at Boulder Ridge, Wilderness Lodge, All-Star Movies, All-Star Sports, Art of Animation, Boardwalk, Caribbean Beach, Contemporary Resort, and the Polynesian Resort. I got a 15, 15, 15. Can I get a 20, 20, 20? 20% 20 off you get at the cabins, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Villas, Jamba House, uh, Coronado Springs, Port Orleans Resort, and 
Riverside and French Quarter. And my friend, 25% off at Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kidani Village, Beach Club, Boardwalk, Grand Floridian, uh, Riviera, Old Key West, Saratoga, Wilderness Lodge, and the Yacht Club. That's not bad for 15% or for, for up to 25% off. That's a good time of year to go. Um, so why do you sound different, Greg? Uh, I have no power um, in my neighborhood. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's not just my house. It's uh, I'm really hoping Carl's okay. Uh, <laughs> Carl, did you cut the power line again? So for those listening, we're just going to cut out where I'm like a deer in a headlight. Again? <laughs> again. <laughs> Actually, what I did this time is I just muted everything and stopped. So. Oh, man. This is just one of those days. Everybody just deal with me. Uh, you may hear noise in the background because now everybody in my house is running around trying to figure out what's yeah, going on. Yeah. You know the power's out? Power's out, Yes. I, really, I did not see that. You know why I didn't see that? Because the power's out. Uh, there is new menu over at Boat, Boat Rights Dining Hall at Port Orleans Riverside, one of our favorite places to eat and uh, one of the uh, out-of-the-way places that a lot of people don't go. But yeah, check out chipandcompany.com. I don't have the article in front of me to tell I you do. exactly what's there. Chip, you Some have the, the article. Yeah, let's let's try this. Some okay. of the new dishes include low country seafood seafood broil. Mm. It's a dish filled with shrimp, mussels, and dewy sausage and corn on the cob with potatoes <laughs> simmered in a spicy Cajun broth. Oh my served god, I'm a- never letting you read an article again. <laughs> served with a toasted baguette. No, stop it. The new <laughs> taste of bayou is almost enough. Oh, for man. Food is that the voice you food. read stuff in your head? Yes, I'm like I'm like okay. very light, baby. <laughs> this is so wrong. They have a new is that all a new you power. Can, <laughs> they have a new all you can uh, all you care to enjoy platter with hickory smoked pork ribs, crispy Cajun chicken, smoked sausage, barbecue beef, brisket, mm. mashed potatoes, mac and cheese. <laughs> Just say. Mm. Ah. Do you, Do you want me to do the Barry White or do you want me to read it? <laughs> Just read. <laughs> I don't know. Mac I want you cheese. to do Barry White. No, no, no. Go back to Barry White. I'm good with that. Mac and cheese, baby, with roasted corn and Cajun oh butter. Oh, my God. When did and Barry served, White become Elvis? Served with seasonal vegetables. <laughs> Meat lovers will enjoy the new slow-roasted blackened prime rib. Oh, man. It's, it's topped with Cajun butter. It's served with classic... Classic. I can't even do it. With classic mashed potatoes and seasonal vegetables. Uh, let's see what else. There's new drinks. Uh, new seasonal Big Easy whiskey sour. Yum. And then for dessert, they have um, Southern cheesecake, which is a classic vanilla cheesecake served with bourbon caramel sauce, mm. garnished with pecan or pecan, depending on where you're from. Praline brittle. Mm. They have a they have a no strawberries, based... no berries on that? No, you can have that. Excellent. I'm going for it. They have a plant-based peach blackberry cobbler, which I don't care about, and the Mississippi mud creme brulee. Mm. So, so that sounds wonderful. Here's the difficult yeah. one. So I, you have to read the next one because this is the only one I can't pull up. Um, this is the new comings for Thanksgiving time. Here at the Walt Disney World Resorts. Chip, Quit there is some amazing phone. stuff. I, I'm trying to put it back in my ear, my friend. Put your phone in your ear? I have my headphones on. Oh, because I, oh okay. Because your phone so, won't, won't fit in your ear. <laughs> you could try, but I don't think it will fit. All right, let's try that. How is that? Is that better? Look, I can hear again. You sound the same. That's all that matters. Uh, let's go through a little bit of the Thanksgiving meals and special options that are coming for this holiday season. Some of this stuff starts on November 1st, which is going to be yum. And then others come only for November 25th and 25th, number 24th, 24th. Yep. and 25th. So uh, there's a few things on there, Chip. Let's go through a few. So Barry. starting out, 
starting out starting out baby <laughs> they're, they're what actually Barry gonna... white goat in memphis <laughs> i don't know but um they're going to be serving thanksgiving dinner at a lot of disney resorts this year and it's going to be available only on november 24th so you can go over to i'll read you off the list here intermissions food court at all-star movies uh the food court at all-star music all-star sports art of animation um, they're going to be serving it at Caribbean Beach, Contempo, the Polynesian, uh, Pop Century, let's see, Riverside and French Quarter, Saratoga, and Wilderness Lodge. So if you're at Disney World for Thanksgiving, you can stop by any one of those places and basically get your Thanksgiving food. You know, mashed potatoes, gravy, turkey, vegetables, the whole shebang. I am so looking forward to Thanksgiving options over at Walt Disney World because we so, were debating whether we were going to do Thanksgiving at home or at a resort. Yeah, and they're going to have each place is going to have specialty things like they're going to have a pumpkin tart at a lot of the quick service or not the quick service, the value resorts. They're going to have things like a gobble wobble bunt cake. <laughs> <laughs> wobbling and wobbling and wobbling, ba- gobbling and gobbling and gobbling. Hey. Okay. Sanaa's gonna have going down this list on Sanaa's gonna have Thanksgiving Day dinner, which the is na na na, yeah, spiced turkey, turkey mm. confit, roasted squash, mashed potatoes, roasted Brussels sprouts, green beans, apricot butter, traditional stuffing. Let's see, Mara's gonna have something. So it's not just that list. If you go to Chip and Co and look over this article, you can see all the different things that are gonna be coming. Things like I know you're looking forward to this. The pumpkin pie shake. Uh, yeah, we're going to go get that right away. Yeah, beaches and cream. They're going to have a, it's going to be a pumpkin pie shake, salted caramel shake with caramel drizzle, sprinkles, and a whole slice. I repeat, a whole slice of pumpkin pie on top. It's amazing looking. Like, if you go to the article, check out the images that we have on there. Uh, so, yeah, we will give you, we will report back on that in, uh, what's that, six days? About six days from now, we will have one in our hand because that looks delectable. Uh, Further news, Chip, uh, we're going to move ahead to Epcot real quick. Uh, The Candlelight Processional, they Disney had announced all the performers for Candlelight Processional. They has now they've changed one of the performers. Edwards James almost is not going to be performing. Instead, it's going to be Chita Rivera or is it Chia Rivera? Chita Rivera? Chia Chia Rivera. Um, Yeah, so the second um, performer at Festival of the Holidays for Candlelight Processional is now going to be Chia Rivera instead of Edward James Almost All of your other people that you want to see, the Neil Patrick Harris, Josh Gad, all those people will still be performing. This is just one change. And hey, that happens. I would like to point out that those going for Epcot Processional, you're almost getting Edward James almost, but not quite. Even but after you refine that joke, it's I, yeah, still it's, bad. I tried to, you know, pepper it up a little bit. <laughs> no doubt. I love it. I love it. It's good. It's I a tried. good joke. It's a good joke. Um one of the other cool things over at the parks at Animal Kingdom, there has been seven new baby hedgehogs. New baby hedgehogs. Chip, if you wouldn't mind reading the first sentence there, because I need to hear the name of the mother of these seven hedgehogs. Not one or two, but seven baby hedgehogs were just born at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Mom glitter toaster strudel gave birth to seven lesser madagascar hedgehog tendrix or lesser madagascar tendrix hedgehogs depending on if you're disney or one of our fans uh at you, disney's animal kingdom you people. took a beating on that article didn't you it I scarred did. you a little salty you literally reported what disney said and how they did it and somebody was like you're wrong and you're just like I- i'm telling you this is what disney said like we're just reporting the news I'm not a zoologist. I am Nor do I play one on TV. Yeah. And I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. So Nope. That was brutal. 
So, golden sprinkle showers. What was her <laughs> Golden toaster golden sprinkle. <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> I won't even say what you did last night. But anyway, Glitter Toaster <laughs> Strudel. And I'm getting in trouble for talking about the rooster. <laughs> glitter Toaster Strudel. Glitter Toaster Strudel. <laughs> you can't even say it anymore. What a brilliant name, though. I, I want to know who, who named the hedgehog Glitter Toaster Strudel. Because that's Dis brilliant. Disney needs to, like... At some place in the animal kingdom, they need to sell glitter toaster strudel. That is like a missed marketing opportunity right there. Right. And not, where, not are the like hedge the where are the hedgehogs, though, over at Animal Kingdom? Are they in the back or? Um... I don't know where you can see them, but wherever they are, they need a food booth. I totally agree with you. That is only open in the morning and just sells co Joffrey's Coffee and glitter toaster strudel strudel yep. that'd be amazing oh man all right let's take a small break chip uh for a commercial and hear from mark and then we will power through a whole bunch of these articles because i don't want to lose power or i don't have power so i don't want to lose power on my phone all right here we go do you love chip and company podcast be sure to head over to chipandco.com for even more Disney Parks news, entertainment, and review podcasts. Chip and Company has been delivering the best in Disney news, planning tips, and more since 2009. And now you can get that news in an audio-only format, now five days a week. Every Monday, join Mark and Greg for Diz Life Podcast and start your week off the right way by living your best Disney life. Tuesday is our news and review podcast discussing the latest breaking news from the Walt Disney Corporation. Every Wednesday, we're discussing the best of Disney parks with Chip and Greg. Thursdays have Mark and Greg breaking down the top headlines of the week in And Company, a weekly news roundup. And don't forget to tune into Extra every single weekend where we give you a deep dive on the biggest topic of the week. Get that extra dose of Disney in your weekly commute, your time on the treadmill, or even just relaxing around the house. So what are you waiting for? Head over to chipandco.com today and become part of the fastest growing podcast network in the Disney community. We hope that you enjoy today's podcast and thank you for being a part of our podcast family. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Chip and Company Podcast Network. Not all shows are a are train wreck like this one is, Chip, right now. <laughs> We're yeah, literally watching like a train wreck in slow-mo. I feel like we're cursed today. Like, <laughs> and it's my it fault. Yeah, we lost. Not even my fault. Time. It's yeah. Uh, we were cruising in that first one, man. That was funny, but it probably was a bit too adulty. So, the the podcast gods got us on that one. Anyway, let us move on over at Hollywood Studios here in uh, the Walt Disney World theme parks. <laughs> Fantasmic showtimes have been revealed ahead of the opening at Hollywood Studios. We all know that Fantasmic is returning November 3rd this year. They are going to be having two shows a night for the first few weeks. Um, do you we want me to read do the schedule? No, I actually have it in front of me. These are the one of the these are the ones that were uh, stayed up here. So Fantasmic November 3rd will be the first night, 8 p.m. And 9.30 p.m., Chip. So that's for November 4th through the 7th. So November 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. It is two shows. Then starting on Tuesday, November 8th through November 13th, it'll change up the show times to 8 p.m. and drop the second showing at 9.30. So there's only one show uh, that second week of November. And then on the 14th, the show time shift to 9 p.m. for the rest of November. And that's basically as far as the calendar we can see. Let me let me look to see if they've expanded it. Because when I was writing the article, it was out to December 20th. So let's see if they've... Yep, they've added the 21st, 9 p.m., 22nd, 9 p.m., 23rd, 9 p.m., and Christmas Eve, 9 p.m. So Okay, yeah. so it looks like the first week only, they're going to be doing two shows a night. Uh, that is excellent. Which brings us to the cast member previews for Fantasmic. They are going to begin on November 1st. 
Now that we finally have a reopening day on Fantasmic at Disney's Hollywood Studios, they've shared details on who will be able to experience the magic first. Disney cast members will get previews of Fantasmic on November 1st and 2nd. Um, what is great here, Chip, uh, that I know of is the November 1st one is for Hollywood Studio cast members only. Uh, so it's first come, first serve. For the second, the cast members were put into a lottery and see if you could get the night to go see that on the second. Um, what is really cool, Chip, we will be there to cover the media event on November 2nd from 7.30 until 10.30. So it looks like we'll see two shows that night. Nice. Which is going to be nice because we can go live for the audience out there for one show, and then we can record the second show and have it up on YouTube for perpetuity. Perpetuity? Forever. Oh, okay. Sorry, you're getting fancy on me. Yeah, that's okay. That I, sh I, I all of a sudden was like, big word being. Yes, I'm using big words again, Mr. Confer. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm yeah, big dude. word Bane. Perpetuity. Perpetuity. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna love you for per perpetuity, baby. Thank you, Barry Elvis. <laughs> Elvis what? <laughs> Barry Elvis. Ba Barry Elvis. <laughs> He's uh, a southern funny. gentleman. I don't know why my southern accent comes out. I, I, I do. don't know either, but it does, man. Like, <laughs> your Barry White went really southern. Sorry. Oh. So anyway, we will be over there November 2nd, Chip, doing the media preview. So we will get to see the cast members probably having the time of their lives. I love going to cast member previews and being with the cast because nobody loves Disney as much as the cast members at Disney. So it'll be a really fun night. Guest member, the cast members get to bring up to three guests with them for the Wednesday preview. And uh, that'll be awesome for them. Um, further news for pass holders, the theme park reservations are no longer available for the opening day of Fantasmic. Um, wah, 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 wah. Yeah, but here's the trick. If you try and park hop at 2 p.m., it may be closed off um because so many people are trying to get into the park to see the opening showing of that so uh the show returns on november 3rd as we've just said and annual pass holder reservations are completely booked if you're an annual pass holder you cannot get a reservation that day for hollywood studios um yeah this is gonna Do be you amazing. really want to be there on opening night it's kind of like you never buy the first make of a car you know like the ford bronco just came out you never buy that first year of the car. You always buy the second year because they got to work out all the bugs. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. So, no, I do not. I will be there the night before covering it for us. <laughs> uh, speaking of more Fantasmic news, the dining packages return. The reservations are now opening um, or they will be opening or are they opening? Tomorrow. Tomorrow they open. I was looking at the date. So um, back and better than ever, the larger than life open air nighttime musical will boast boost the live performers. Boast will boast the live the musical will boast the live. OK, whatever. I'm, I'm reading something wrong and it's not making sense. I'm sorry. Anyway, stunning effects, it. rousing music and dazzling pyrotechnics that you know and love complete with brand new show sequences. Uh, but yeah, you can book dining reservations beginning the 26th. Dining packages for select restaurants at Disney's Hollywood Studios will be available for performances November 30th and beyond. So be forewarned that you can start booking them for November 30th and beyond, which is great news. Uh, That's actually the best Hollywood way to Studios see. News That's actually the best way to see Fantasmic because you've got a guaranteed seat waiting on you. absolutely agree with you um yeah and don't you get to do you sit in a special section or is it just yep. your general admission no you get a special section and you get a great meal because a lot of those restaurants that are listed i love mama melrose you'll get some mama yeah melrose. i think that was uh 55 dollars or 65 dollars um the okay. the most expensive dining package i saw was 75 dollars 
and you get a meal at Hollywood Brown Derby, and then you get to see uh, Fantasmic. So to me, that is worth the price. Yeah, it's a, it's so just I'm with that you. They're they're not doing the reservations until the end of the month. Right, right. So. Well, we'll see what happens on that. Uh, more news over at Hollywood Studios is the Green Army a Drum Corps will be returning this November. Uh, throughout the day, be on the lookout for the Green Army Drum Corps in Toy Story Land. This talented band of drummers is sure to entertain guests of all ages with their high energy performance and all inspiring drum sequences. It looks like performances will begin on November 6th and happen at 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 2.30, 3.30, and 4.30 p.m. Uh, are you excited to see the Green Army men ship? Yeah, I really like their... They do a really good performance, and they really interact with the crowd, and it's fun, energetic. I like it. Do we have that up on YouTube? I don't know. I've seen There's it. A, we are going to be at the parks so much over the next coming days. So now, when that happens when I, next week, I'll get it. Yeah, get a video. I don't. We don't have anything with it. Let's do it. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see. I've never actually seen them perform, so I'm excited to see them. Oh wow! Okay, you'll enjoy it. They put on a good show. So, further news from around the parks, though. New Year's Eve. We talked about mm -hmm. how you could only get uh, tickets for New Year's Eve if you were an annual pass holder, but now we have the theme park hours are available for all four theme parks. So it looks like Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and the Magic Kingdom will be open until midnight. So you can have an amazing time. Oh, you know what? I need, uh, never mind. I was going to say I need to make a pass because I always wanted to go to Epcot on New Year's Eve, but I can't. My pass is, and I'm okay not going. I will have New Year's Eve at home like I always do. Uh, December 31st, Magic Kingdom will open at 9 a.m. till midnight. Epcot will open from 9 a.m. till midnight. Hollywood Studios will open at 8.30 till midnight. And the only one not open till midnight, Chip, is Animal Kingdom, which they will begin early entry at 7.30, and they will close at 8 p.m. I would like to point out that that is an actual early closing time for those parks in the past they've stayed open until 1 a.m yeah i thought epcot stayed open until one or two during new year's so yeah, it was that's interesting past wow so yeah they're wanting to kick you out <laughs> get out you don't have to go home but you can't stay here what's that closing time the verb Are you singing a song oh yeah, yeah. the verb the verb the verb the verb is the word i don't know uh in further disney world news they are disney is scaling back character meet and greets now chip due to a labor shortage um there's still they're still being impacted by the labor shortage due to the pandemic the shortages are of course of multiple character meet and greets being scaled back starting sunday october 23rd the following meet and greets are going to be suspended indefinitely, and they are Donald and Daisy with Max at Hollywood Studios, Minnie Mouse in the Magic Kingdom at Town Square Theater, Minnie Mouse at International Gateway. Uh, those character experiences are most likely getting cut due to accommodate other character-based experiences like character meals and shows like Fantasmic. Obviously, they need these performers around for shows and for dining. Um, which leads into a great I article, set, Chip. I, I set you up for this one. You did. I, I just noticed it's a perfect setup. Segway. Disney World is hosting character performing auditions. If you know anybody who wanted to be a character or, or be friends with a character down here at Disney World, they are holding auditions on October 26th and 29th. Obviously, Disney is doing everything they can to get these other character meet and greets back up. They're not trying to take away from anybody and make more money. They are literally trying to get them back up. So if you are a character performer or would like to be one, the auditions are going to be here at Walt Disney World at the Disney Animal Kingdom Rehearsal Facility. 
Uh, you can check our website for all the links over to the site where you can apply to be on character form. Uh, that is just, it's just awesome, I think. Yeah, your internet's breaking. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're you're getting very digital is. right now. I wonder yeah, is you did because, your power uh, come back? I'm just... Nope. <laughs> no, my so, phone's just you know. I'm okay. we are cursed, Chip. This Let's is see the if cursed I put my episode. phone over there if that does any better. This is the episode that should not be, my friend. We are powering through this. Let's just keep going. That way we can get through this for everybody. 2023-24 uh, Walt Disney World run Disney events. Dates have been revealed. Uh, first up is Disney's Wine and Dine Half Marathon. That'll be November 2nd through the 5th. Down here at Disney World, the annual Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend is January 3rd through January 7th of 2023. I'm sorry, of 2024. Oh, they released further down the road. I misread this. So these are the 2023 and 2024 dates, Chip. Uh, my apologies. Uh, Wine and Dine Half Marathon will be November 2nd through the 5th of 2023. And the Marathon Weekend will be held January 3rd through January 7th of 2024. Races are normally um, Half Marathon, Marathon, 5K, and 10K. So check that out it's really cool i love the run disney events i do the virtual one because i walk around the parks all the time i don't actually do the other ones i think you skipped over an article did i what was it it was the chase visa uh multi-year deal and then oh well can you the... can you let the people know what they're they're missing on that sure disney chase visa announces a multi-year deal and offers a new Disney 100-year anniversary car design that will be metal. Um, yeah, it's the extension of our co-brand card program with Disney and Visa illustrates our collective commitment to provide Disney card members with rewards and experiences that deliver value and help create lasting memories. Uh, scrolling down. <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm trying to find it about the new card design because that's what everybody that's yes. pretty much what everybody wants is that new design in anticipation of the 100th anniversary of Walt Disney World in 2023 the company also announced that a new limited edition card design for Disney Premier Visa card members will be released in January 2023 the new offering will be the first Disney co-branded card made of metal and available to new and existing Disney Premier Visa card members only during the Disney 100 year of anniversary celebrate celebration. So Disney 100 year wonder. So are we uh, Visa Premier holders? We, we are. Are we going to get one of these metal cards? I don't know. Do you want one? I have Baby Yoda. I, I'm pretty fine with it. I had the 50th anniversary. I really like it, but I think I want a metal card. Okay. I can put one in. Excellent. Thank you. I get a lot of compliments on my baby Yoda, so I'm not changing that. Your baby Yoda. Excuse oh, me, sorry. sir. Is that your baby Yoda? Why, well, yes. Yes, it is. It's I'm sorry, so Grogu. pleasant. They, they like looking at Grogu. I'm, I'm with you, man. That's awesome. Um, more news. Disney Genie Plus chip. This is going to make some oh, people wait. mad. You got a commercial here. In further news, Chip, we have a commercial. There we go. Who's in the commercial? That would be Chip. That is Sam. Oh my gosh, all of a sudden I did the announcer voice. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the commercial, Sarah from Destinations to Travel. Now, Sarah is our travel agent, uh, Chip. You personally have used her for your uh, Disney wish trip that you have canceled and moved <laughs> at least 20 times. Uh, she, Sarah she, is an amazing... She, she, She's an amazing travel agent. She will handle anything that you need done in Disney World, Disneyland, basically Disney Cruise Line. She is fantastic. Uh, she also does outside of Disney with the um, destination to travel. But trust me when I say the only people, only person that Chip and I will ever use is Sarah. And you can find her on the Chip and Company website. But the reason I bring her up is because she has helped you out so many times on this wish trip. Wish trip, Chip. Can I break down the wish trip for everybody at home? Um, 
You can give a very truncated version because I'm not going to last that long. So what happened is we had this Disney Wish trip booked. This was when it um, they first announced it. We picked the second booking because I don't like picking the first on anything. So we picked the second booking and then they canceled the trip and Disney offered everybody who were who was on the, the first couple bookings 50% off another trip. So we booked the Disney Wish for, what was it, September? And then our flight got canceled. So Sarah went and booked a trip for November. And then Lacey got sick. She's been out of work for like the past week from the flu. So we had to cancel that November trip, which would have been this coming weekend. Is it? Yeah, I guess it would have um, been. I don't no, know. I was, I was writing an article. Yeah, next weekend. It would have been next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we ended up canceling that one. Sarah was on the phone every time with Disney Cruise Line, and she was able to get me a full refund on everything, got all that money back, and now she's going to be booking. We're looking at a Royal Caribbean cruise for all of us for June of next year on Liberty of the Sea, which I'm not that familiar with Royal Caribbean, but it looks like a really nice ship and going to Bermuda, which is my favorite island in the whole world. So... I have put her through the ringer. She has been very gracious, very pleasant. She has done everything above and beyond what I can ask for a travel agent. So shout out to Sarah. Sarah, I'm sorry for everything, but thank you so much for coming through for us. There we go. You ready for Couldn't the say any better myself. So let's roll her commercial then. Hey guys, Diz Life Mark here. And I want to tell you all about the official travel partner here at Chip and Company. Let our good friend Sarah at Destination to Travel help you plan your next Disney vacation. Sarah specializes in planning dream vacations for your family. She's an authorized Disney vacation planner, and she can help with every step of your magical vacation. The best thing is that her services are 100% free. Want to travel beyond Disney? Sarah has you covered there, too. Want to find out more? Fill out a trip request form over at the website at Chip & Co. or email her directly at sarahsolberg at d2travel.com. What are you waiting for? Start planning that dream vacation today. Email her at sarahsolberg at d2travel.com. And that is Sarah Solberg, ladies and gentlemen. No, seriously, we have nothing but amazing things to say about Sarah. Not only is she a writer here at Chip and Company, but she is also our travel agent. So a uh, big shout out to Sarah. And who knows, she, she does want to join us on the podcast. Sometimes we do need a third person to keep us in line, Chip. During the first recording of this, we probably could have used a third person to keep me in line. Well, that and I bet her power doesn't go out as much as yours. Yeah, well... <laughs> I got nothing on that, man. You're probably right. Yeah. Uh, over at uh, Disneyland, my friend, Disney Genie Plus reached $30 a person the other day. That's so cool. they announced uh, the change for Disney Genie Plus at both Disneyland and Disney World. Pricing is now variable depending on the date. The prices at Disneyland start at $25 per person per day. And the increase is based on the date. Like we said... So recently, we just saw it spike up to $30 a day, and uh, I know people are a little upset about that. So uh, it's just how the economy is now, my friend. Yeah, I got, I got nothing. I mean, it, it is what it is. I, I, yeah. Um, in Hollywood, in good news over at Disneyland, there's some really cool things that we have coming up. Uh, it's a Small World will be closing for the holiday overlay starting October 24th. Through November 10th, the um, overlay, the exuberant holiday experience, set sail along a wondrous winter waterway transformed with whimsical, whimsical decor. Behold, jubilant regional. I feel like I should be reading this as Big Word Bane. It's whimsical. It sounds and like you're eating your microphone. Jubilant. What? Are you eating your microphone? I was for a second. You, you sound really good for a second, and then you sound like poo. It's because I colored my mouth to sound like Bane. <laughs> Behold, 
jubilant regional adornments. Uh, along the world tour of good cheer, listen as the costume chorus of children sing the classic It's a Small World song and traditional holiday tunes. Look, if you know about the It's a Small World overlay in Disneyland, this excites you because it looks stunning, especially out there in Disneyland. So enjoy that. I hope somebody sends me some pictures. The Here's the question I have, Chip. What is this all about? Uh, I am I, I'm I've never been to Disneyland during this, so I need to understand this uh, article. The 2022 Disneyland candy cane dates have been announced. The um, every holiday season, the Disneyland Resort sells a limited number of handmade candy canes. Guests go crazy for them and they sell out instantly. Candy canes will only be available on select days at Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. Um it looks like Candy Palace at Disneyland, December 4th, 6th, 11th, 13th, 18th, 20th, 24th at Trolley Treats on December 5th, 7th, 12th, 14th, 19th, 21st, and 25th. Yeah, guests hoping to purchase candy canes can get them. Uh, you will need to use mobile waitlist for a chance to purchase one of the candy canes. That's crazy, I man. I what is up really, with that? Yeah, I don't know. It's a candy cane. I, it's, it's a candy maybe, cane. Maybe because it's fresh rolled candy cane. I, I have no idea. I well, maybe. I don't know. I need I need somebody to please text me or send me a message on Instagram or at Chip and Company. And please let me know what is up with the candy canes at Disneyland. I need to understand this phenomenon. It could be one of those things. Nothing draws a crowd like a crowd. So maybe. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go over to Disney Cruise Line real quick uh, before we do entertainment. We have Adventures by Disney is going to debut its first ever Adriatic Sea Expedition in 2024. Uh, but, 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 Guests will set sail on the all-new Disney Adventures by Disney Expedition Cruise along the picturesque Adriatic Sea. This famed water vatervé, I don't know where that came from, <laughs> filled with captivating history. Ramen. Yeah, I don't know why, but it did come out a little bit, just a little bit. Eat the beach. Exquisite cuisine. <laughs> Breathtaking <laughs> views. What is wrong with us today, man? Uh, the eight-day, seven-night round-trip sailing from Venice, Italy, will sit. Will visit. visit. <laughs> Great. Oh man, why am I doing this today? Uh, it'll go ports in Croatia, uh, Montenegro, before returning to the floating city. The chartered Adventures by Disney Expedition Voyage is planned for two sailings in 2024. The uh, first one departs June 25th. And bookings, if you're into Adventures by Disney, why are you listening to the podcast first? No, I'm kidding. I, we love you. Uh, June 25th, you can start booking on October 27th. And <laughs> you were like, did he just lose power again? No, man. No, I, I, just I, didn't, I didn't really have anything to bring to the table on that one. No, that's fine. Like, I, I don't, I, would, I yeah. Adventures by T Disney is a little too rich. By Disney? <laughs> Adventures by, Disney. by Tiffany. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one today. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited frazzled. about this next bit of, bit of news. Me like, too, really man. I, I'm frazzled right now. Can I, do, do you, have you noticed I'm frazzled? Like, everything has gone wrong on my end today. Can I actually read the next bit of news? Can I do this one? You absolutely can, but please do not do it as Barry Elvis. Do it as Chip Confer. Doctor Who is coming <laughs> to Disney Plus in 2023. Is that, was that good enough? I didn't want to yell because, you know, Cole's in the house sick and I'd get the dogs barking. But Doctor yeah, Who. Well, you coming... also skipped over an article, so. Did I really? Yeah. No, we didn't. Yeah, Black Panther. I don't have that in there. I see Doctor Who, Back to the Future, and yeah. Mary Poppins. We had Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, food, merch, and more coming. Really? Yeah. But we could skip over that because uh, oh, I no. just said that. 
no, because you skipped over an article. You went to the Adriatic Sea and you skipped over, so it's your fault, not mine. Yes. Anyhow. Anyway, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Food, Merch, and More is coming to Adventure Avengers Campus. And now, Chip, what is coming to Disney Plus? I'm not talking to you. I'm drinking mm. my coffee. No, no, no. I, I need to know this. Like, <laughs> I, mm, I want to know. Good. Pumpkin spice. Mm. Ew, are you doing a peep? Are you doing pumpkin spice coffee? Ah, yeah, that's good. I hate you. I hate you more now. Like, why would you do pumpkin spice? Like, it's horrible. Like, I can see doing pumpkin pie. I do whatever Lidl sells. So they had pumpkin spice. That's what I got. Uh, you know what? That's a great answer. I agree with you. You're back in the good zone. Um, anyway, Doctor <laughs> Who is coming to Disney Plus in 2023. Who? Doctor Who. Um, the BBC is going to be... It's almost time for Doctor Who, the next generation, coming to Disney Plus in 2023. Today, the BBC and Disney announced the, um, duh, 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 I'm trying to find it, uh, both partner, okay, uh, Russell T. Davies is basically leading the charge for Doctor Who coming to Disney Plus in 2023, and the huge, huge, huge news was that David Tennant, Catherine Tate, would be returning as the 14th Doctor in the new well as it comes to disney plus it's still coming to bbc for those who listen in the uk for like those one or two people but um for me i'm excited that it's going to be coming to disney plus david Tennant, and then they're going to be kicking off with um the 15th doctor who is um how do you pronounce his name i'm really bad about that do 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 let me see where we are we in the article do you have that one up I do. I'm just going down to uh, Nakudi Gatwa. Yeah. He's taking over as the 15th Doctor. Right. So so we're going to get David Tennant and Catherine Tate again, back again, the Doctor Donna, to return for the 14th Doctor. I'm not really sure. It says the new episodes, but it doesn't really... It says David Tennant will play the 14th Doctor for three specials before... Nakuti Gatwada mm-hmm. takes Gatwa. over as the 15th Doctor um, over the festive season. So, yeah. I'm so, really... they normally do a Doctor Who holiday special every year. Yeah. This year, they're making it into three part special. Uh, and it actually started two days ago on the BBC, and mm-hmm. BBC America showed it not last night, but the night before Sunday night, I want to say it was. Were you watching it with Holly? Uh, I do not watch that show. Oh. Was Holly watching it? Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. So, I'm, I'm you... not a fan of Jodie Whittaker. But the master was really good. I enjoyed him. Well, anyway, so not to confuse everybody, which is what you just did. Did I? <laughs> yes, very much. <laughs> so I was like, what is going on now? Uh, the BBC is showing the brand new episodes of Doctor Who then they will show the holiday episodes which is going to be a three-parter uh and then all these episodes that are only airing on bbc and bbc america uh will be coming to disney plus starting with the 14th doctor will be aired nakuti gatwa you gotta wait until november we got a year to wait for this thing though it's coming though man like disney a doctor who and disney I really can you get a they, TARDIS ride? I really hope that they release Doctor Who early so we can binge again. What was uh, the one Children of Something? Da, 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 da. John Barrowman. He played the Doctor. No, not the Doctor. He played the. I don't know. Captain Jack. Captain Jack. Yeah. What was his specials? What was his TV show? You talking about Torchwood? Yes, Torchwood. Yeah. I knew we'd get there somehow. I I enjoy Torchwood. I'm not a Doctor Who fan. Holly is a huge Doctor Who fan, and I think it's awesome. Um, Yeah, I am not going to gatekeep anybody. Be like, oh, this show sucks. No, man. If you love Doctor Who, 
bring it on, man. I show your love because there is a lot of people out there. You being one of them, Chip, who are huge Doctor Who fans. So this is great news if you are into um, watching Doctor Who, and this show has been ongoing for forty plus years over the BBC. Chip, yeah, I mean that's how I met um, Lacey. Is both her and I had a picture of Catherine Tate on our profiles, on our dating profiles from the Galaxy Con here in North Carolina. That's pretty cool. See what a great story that is. I'm glad you took that story. Yeah. Uh, further news: Back to the Future, uh, which is not is Back to the Future Disney. No, but I threw it in there because no, because it's just another fan thing that's really cool. So, Back to the Future is coming to Broadway this summer. There's a new teaser trailer featuring fan favorites. So, great Scott, the Oliver <laughs> Olivier winning Back to the Future musical will make an electrical electrical debut. Oh, this is just filled with puns, Chip. Yeah, that's more. That's Mark for you. Uh, on Broadway in the summer of 2023, the stage adaption of the classic 1985 film will play at the Winter Garden Theater beginning June 30th with an opening date of August 3rd, 2023. Uh, the 1985 film set in the fictional California town of Hill Valley starring Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd is coming to Broadway. That is another really cool, Great awesome. Scott. Great, Scott. Why does he keep talking about it? His, his, yeah, the gravity thing. Uh, see, I tried to quote it, and I quit. That's why I don't do entertainment. Uh, Mary Poppins Returns sing-along version is coming soon to Disney+. Plus. I am a huge fan of Mary Poppins Returns. Um, they've added several sing-along versions of a lot of your favorite Disney films, both new and nostalgic. Uh, and now the famed musical film Mary Poppins Returns is going to be joining the list. On November 11th, Disney Plus subscribers can enjoy the new sing-along version of the hit streaming service. On the hit streaming service. Yeah, it's great. There's Nightmare Before Christmas is on there. Coco's on there. Little Mermaid. So this is going to join the fray of sing-along musicals. How cool is that, my friend? Are we and that somehow, Chip brings us to the end of the news i don't know how we got through that but we did we'll call this the train wreck episode i'm cool with it it is the train wreck episode uh anyway let's get it out of here before something else goes wrong you got anything going on this week chip uh hockey more hockey yeah hockey all That's week great. penguins and then we get to see the carolina thunderbirds home opener awesome. this weekend yeah echl the federal prospect hockey league so it's it's down there that's fine man it's still hockey it doesn't matter yeah we love the thunderbirds i mean they're yeah. just a good hometown team exactly and as long as you're going out and having a good time seriously i love watching hockey uh yep. one day you and i will get to a penguins flyers game hey we're going in march you we're are drive, yeah Lacey and i are driving up to pittsburgh we're gonna see the flyers on Saturday, and then the Rangers on Sunday, way Pittsburgh. Nice. Well, good luck with that. Uh, you're going to lose. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Those are games are fun. So anyway, let us get out of here today. This has been a fun trip. Um, this is the train wreck. As always, Chip Confer, you, my friend, get the last word. Uh, I really have nothing. This is just been you know a... what? Let's just end this. As always, everybody, thanks for tuning here. in to Chip and Co Let's Podcast Network. This. End of line. Bye, everybody. Man, that was one heck of an episode. <laughs> God dang disaster! It's <laughs> what a horrible train wreck. I like. I could actually see the light getting brighter in front of me as it was going to smash into us and it did is your power back on yet nope i am powerless my phone's dying oh 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 it played oh it's back out nope i don't oh crap i forgot to end this hold on bye everybody <laughs>